We gonna chug it. We gonna chug it. We gonna cheers. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Salute. Oh, so. Oh. Yep. That was rough. You were pro at this. I lost. Yo, welcome guys to another week of Dallas Beer Talk, drunk in public. You know, bringing people together one beer at a time. I'm in. Uh, you you want to know where I'm at? You want to know where I'm at? Hang DFW out with Grand Studios. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the point. We're hanging out with my peoples. These are people we've been to, uh, to the show several times, hanging out with these are my brothers. They're the best people, the best uh, production studio here at, uh, on Grand Prairie. Uh, DJ Loudman. I didn't say it's government his time. Yeah. And DJ. DJ on the scale. Shit, I DJ totally fucked DJ. up the second half of your name. All, good. Good. all I got to do is DJ on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all But good. these are my people. Yo, what's going on? Yo, it's been too long. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been what? Three, four months since the last time we hung out? Yeah, three, four months since I seen you, man. You losing <laughs> weight, man. No, that's a goddamn You losing thing. weight, looking good. Oh, goddamn, I appreciate that, though. Man. It's right before my birthday. Yeah. So I appreciate that. A Sagittarius too. Hey, right, Sag Nation, man. Get you a Sagittarius. Heard, heard that. Half man, half beast. About that time of year again. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, like, so tall. It's <laughs> <laughs> so tall. So, studio's looking phenomenal. Yeah. Right, we're right in the middle. You guys are in the middle of doing a studio session. Music looks sounding oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some people hard at work right behind you right now making music. You know what I'm saying? We don't stop. All Keep day, every day. You know what I'm saying? In the DFW area. All day. Shit. Now, ain't no lie. Yeah, yeah, Snapchat be live. You guys be yeah, doing parties all the time. Yeah, we doing parties. Uh, we we mainly try to throw a networking party every month so uh, everybody can come in and show off their brand or their business or what they got going on in the city. And we did it a couple times, and it, it was a success. So we're going to do one this month uh, on the, uh, on 16. the 16th. 16th, so. Yeah, so uh, y'all stay tuned. So unfortunately, this podcast will be on the uh, uh Past that, but you know, see. December. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, December we throwing one. It, it always be in the middle of the month, so y'all stay tuned. We are gonna shoot my guy the information. And make sure y'all come and and bring your business, bring your business cards, bring your uh, nice faces. Come looking good, and we gonna have a good time and support. Press to other. impress any business, mm -hmm. barbershops, food. Be ready for that New Year's party we throwing too, since it's coming. Oh, Yo, it's December. my favorite holiday, bro. Yeah. New Year's gonna be epic. We doing it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gonna, gonna be epic, man. Yeah, you know it's my favorite. It's the only day of the year that I like real party. I celebrate. Yeah. Halloween's I, right. you know, yeah. I like your St. Patrick's I, right. yeah. my birthday's I. Right. Gotta and bring then, in your party. You know, with listen, a blast. listen, I've been single for a long time during New Year's. That's you still single, man. Yeah, no, this is what I do. This is what I do. I eat twelve grapes, and I find me a girl and start yeah. the year off right. Great, <laughs> great. <laughs> Man, you crazy, man. You got to. The 12 grapes is a uh, Puerto Rican tradition. Uh, Maybe Dominican uh, tradition. I don't know. I'm 12 grapes. What's, what's the 12 grapes uh, It's good luck and okay. prosperity for every month. So you do one for every month. 12. Okay, I see. I see. You you do, I might have to in try the it. South, they do, I think, I forgot what they do in the South. It's like raisins or something like that. You got to do something else. Yeah. Raisins? Do something else. Why you got to be raisins? I don't know. <laughs> it ain't grapes, though. You dried up. Dried up grapes. Or something <laughs> like that, right? What are raisins? With dried up grapes? We do barbecue, kids. Do barbecue. <laughs> Twelve pieces of ribs. Some chicken. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a black eyed peas. Couple beers. But no. Nah. But yeah, I'm ready, man, to indulge on this beer, man. Facts, facts. Come back at it. Listen, we're about to try some beers. Most of these beers are on, on the tables from Texas. We got two from the DFW area and one from right. Houston. And you got one of these bad boys I got from Tavor, which is a hazy IPA called Mystery Cloud Hazy IPA. Uh, bomb beer number 61. Don't know what the 61 stands for, but I had I see nothing but good reviews on this. <laughs> so, up. another thing I want to do is uh, you guys really don't drink that much beer, um, you know. I ain't trying to get fat, man. I'm trying to keep my you trying to look like good, you. Trying to look good like me. <laughs> I'm trying to look good like you, man. Appreciate that. Listen, so I'm gonna take you on a beer journey. So, we're gonna do light beer, which is uh, hazy, it's not too light, mm -hmm. but it's all everything on here is flavorful. So, we're gonna do all a right. porter. From Turning Point, which is delicious. 
Then we're gonna do Black Man Brew Barrett. Uh, Barrett Tillman. We're about to do a podcast with him, so I'm looking excited about that. He actually gifted this to me when we met up at Civil Poor. So, real nice dude. This is a big bottle. What is this, a 40? This is what it is. <laughs> nah, look at it. I think it's like... It's a big bottle. It might be 40 ounces. If it's 40 ounces, I'd be happy. What it is, it's not the regular what it is. That brown bag special. The brown bag. It should be a, it should be a size yeah. somewhere on here. Yeah. It's a pint. Pint and nine ounces. So, it's not a 40 ounce. Yeah. I like that. That's a big bottle. Yeah, so Barrett Tillman, think about him. <coughs> the reason why I'm also excited to get him on a, to get him on a podcast is this. Uh, he's a guy who, from, I don't know his story completely, but I'm hearing it from people who really like him. Right. Uh, he worked like in corporate world somewhere. Uh, and then he said, you know what, I want to make beer. He liked making beer. Then he worked for a beer company. He's like, okay, working in this beer company, I don't like how they're treating me. Yeah. And I don't like the direction they're going. So you know what, I'm going to take my specialty of making yeast and make my own company. Okay. So I'm really, really excited to talk to him. So uh, started from the bottom. Huh? Definitely, definitely. Listen, when any man who do something, especially people of the minority groups like us that mm-hmm. do something, it's exciting. Especially right. when you're doing it right. So I've had a few of his beers before, and I'm not a big sour fan, but they're good. Mm-hmm. And everybody who likes sour loves his stuff. And and oh, it, so he got multiple brands. He has multiple different beers. Different beers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the uh, mystery class, so we're gonna try this. You see, the artwork on the bottle is crazy. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, it's like some it crazy goes, artwork on the bottle, man. Some kind of some type of alien. Yeah, so we're gonna post that right there, like right above us, so you can see it. it's like a little alien, like a, a monster, like you know, uh, the '60s, '50 monsters yeah. kind of looking thing. So, yeah. it's hazy out of the PA. Let's see. I hope you guys like it. Flavorful, typical hazy IPA. Yeah. It's all right. What do you guys think? I think the smell's good, you know. It's got a good flavor to it, though. It's solid, right? Yeah. Solid, right? It definitely go down smooth. Mm-hmm. Like it's some mango or something in there. See, fruity. See, it has some fruit notes. I like it. Yeah, I, like I feel like a candy feeling when I'm tasting mm-hmm. this. See, I said the hazy IPAs are typically sweeter than a regular IPA. So, if you yeah. think, when you think of IPA, you think of, like, um, I'm trying to think of a good IPA that you guys might know. Anything that's like anything that's bitter, anything that's yeah. bitter, super hoppy, yeah. typically. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know which IPAs you might know, but anything from uh, Petty Colas has a bunch of IPAs. Even like a little aftertaste. It's a little. So beer always have a weird aftertaste, but this one has a little one at the, the end. The tangy. I don't know how to explain it. But the reason why I love tangy I like craft it. beer. Is that it's uh, it tastes good, better, better than uh, regular beer. So we had Stella. I like yeah. Stella. You guys? Oh season? yeah, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's a good beer. It's a good clean beer, right? But that's only like four yeah. percent. This one has more flavor, and it's seven percent. Mm. Okay. So it takes you a little further in your alcohol journey. Right. On. I know you're not, you guys, not big into drinking, but I'm gonna be drunk. Yeah, you yeah, gonna have me drunk. <laughs> <I'm about> to, <laughs> yeah, man, you about to feel it. So you don't even need that extra Stella down there. Mm. Feel it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what projects you working on, man? Well, you know, I'll be doing my promotion thing, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody see the top, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? When we making these parties, we got to make sure it's successful. So, DFW Grand Studios, we got to see that. Definitely. I put my party in, I make sure we do that. Well, you done, You definitely keep it chill with here, and you keep the energy rolling. Keep yeah. this guy on the, on the ball. This man all over the place. This man does a thousand things at once. I'm all over the place, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We just had a Sagittarius thing y'all got going yeah. on. You can't be yeah. focused. I can't focus with <laughs> so shit, you know, bro. Yeah. Bro, I can't focus. That's why I have. That's why I listen to podcasts and uh, videos and music right. at the house. Be distracted as shit. Distracting like a mug. That's why they got me doing all the videos. This is a bad thing, bro. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you keep me in line a little bit. Tell them about the, uh, we had a freestyle battle here a couple weeks ago. It turned out all right. Yeah, Live from the Block. Mm-hmm. Was Osama the Great. He got all the freestyle battles from DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth, even people from Houston, Osama East Texas. Great. Yeah, Osama the He was packed. Yeah, he do he his thing. He's been doing this for about eight, nine years, about maybe ten years now. He's the promoter or the, the he's one of the rappers? It's actually his thing that he got going on. It's his event that he started. And so, okay, he's, one of the, he's the promoter yeah. of it. Okay, yeah, got he it. Do that. We just opened our arms, let them do it here. And nice, nice, nice. It was a good turnout. It was a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of networking going on, a lot of 
a lot of people, good energy. So that, that's legit. So wait, wait. Uh, he has a Facebook page, Instagram. Yeah, page Facebook, there? Instagram, Osama the Great. Check Osama the Great. YouTube. They got all the rap battles on there. You can find any of them. The one that was here at DFW Grand Studio. You can find it Boom, there. right here, right now. Yeah. Damn, right above. Yeah. Go check that one out. Yeah, and there's crazy. gonna be another one this month. So in November, crazy. yeah. What do you guys have a date on that one? I don't know the no, date yet, yeah. but this if comes. If the twenty third, we can promote that <laughs> on this right, podcast. It's, it's, right, it's, I don't know the date we'll for sure. We'll but figure it out in a minute. Yeah. So that's that's an awesome, yo. So what I think that I miss about New York is it's not like we have rap battles. It's not like so. First of all, let's be clear: not everybody in New York knows how to rap, and everybody right. who, in New York who thinks they can rap, most of them suck. Right. But you hear about rap battles a lot. Growing up, when I was growing up in New York in the early Me too, that's what, I, that's what I thought. So, it was, uh, but there was a lot. Yeah. And it just was always something here, and then you always found some young, talented people. So, it's glad to see it, like, still going on. Mm-hmm. You know? Anybody mm-hmm. in, there, in that rap battle that was here that impressed you? Oh, yeah, it was a few, but, and it was really unexpected. So, you know, when you just watch it, it's... It's a good experience because I never really knew nothing about no rap yeah. battle stuff except for Eminem and Eight Mile. The Eight Mile so it's like, hey, I really see this shit, so it was tight. It was fun. So was people, tight. Who, people who watching the people who listen to it more importantly, is uh, so what is the how many judges? How many judges was it? Were you judges? Were you no, guys judges? No, we were the judges. For them, you know? I think it was about four judges. Okay. Yeah, with Ness Osama included. Okay. You know what I'm saying, but uh, I don't know how they really win. I wasn't on that part, but. They had it worked out right. You know what I'm saying? It went right. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. So, because that's that's exclusive. I mean, they be going at it. They be going at it. See, it, listen, I got, I got my feeling got hurt real fast, yeah. and I'm not good at rapping. So, two reasons why I was never into rapping. I'm not good at it. Second of all, I get my feelings hurt real fast. I be trying to fight people. Yeah. yeah. You say something about my mom, yeah, you're like, get the happen. fuck out my face. I mean, when you look at it, you think they might fight up there while they rapping because they be saying some real. Close to heart shit. Like, they done did their research. They yeah. done research, it seems like, before they rap. Well, see, the thing about So, one thing I've always was interested in how people come up with rhymes, right? Like, how you try to diss somebody. Yeah. And a lot of times, you might have, you have something in the pocket, just generic rhymes. Yeah. Then you have something with the guy that's looking like, and then you can kind of <laughs> intertwine yeah. that. The thing about it nowadays, you can find out who, and that's what I also want to know, is there a bracket that they can see? Because if they can see who's in that bracket, they can Instagram that motherfucker yeah. and yeah. look up some shit. Yeah. Like, you got some dusty yeah. ass kids. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, they do it these days. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, they know who's coming. They know what to Man, look for. Man, that'd be some hurtful shit. Can't be taking on whack ass pictures. I got a lot of whack ass pictures <laughs> on my Instagram. They go clown. Yeah, can't yeah. be talking about that. <laughs> it's time to delete <laughs> them. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, be famous. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go back to it. Nah, I'd be hurt, man. But yeah, we just open to any type of party. We got a party venue in Studio C. Uh, we got a stage. This little bar. And we're just open to anything. If you want to come check it out, throw a party. How can we get throw how, an event? How can I or anybody else get in contact with doing a party? You can hit me the old school way, which is the number. <laughs> or, you can, or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook, DJ Loudman. DJ Loudman, everything. DFW Grand Studios, everything. Do you have so, a website for her? No, I don't have a website up yet. Coming soon. Help your boy out with this beer, man. Uh-huh. Your boy's looking rough. We got, we got four more beers. Three more beers to drink. Beer. Yeah, he don't even drink beer. No, no, I'm just like, wow, there's no beer. I'm going to try that. He he help your boy out. Try it. Where we at? First, taste it. First, taste it, man. The first taste. one. Smell yeah. it. Indulge it. Oh, nah, this nigga just drinking it. <laughs> Should have been here in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I like it. You like that? Yeah, I like this shit. You want to try it? It's kind of, no, I don't want no more because I'm already fucked up. Man, I know you can handle your liquor. I really don't know how, bro. <laughs> what you say? What about it? It ha- it tastes like um, what's that old drink? Juice, the juices we used yeah, to drink back in high school. Juice. Juice. Right. No, the, the juices. juice. It was called juice. About, juice, <laughs> the little black and uh, yeah, just, yeah. That's it came out with kids came retarded out. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's probably what caused a lot of things that. <laughs> A lot of nonsense that we did coming yeah. up. So the description for this is super juicy, uh, <laughs> soft, <laughs> fluffy IPA super loaded juicy. with citrus, super juicy. Uh, cr- crystal hops, creating citrus, tropical, and delicious drink. Kid friendly. I uh, definitely kid friendly. Anybody under age forward. thirteen should yeah. drink this. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm lying. That's all lies right there. You gotta be twenty one and over to drink. We don't come out underage drinking. Never happened on this podcast. Never once. <laughs> Never. But 
Never. Never happened. So hit you up Instagram, uh, personally DJ Loud Man. DJ Loud Man. Uh, three, uh, was it is it 360 uh, Grand Studios on, on Instagram? Or too? King 360. King DJs. 360. King 360 DJs on Facebook on Instagram. DJ Off the Scale on Facebook Instagram. And yeah. just make sure you hit us up if you're interested. There's a lot of things going on in the studio. We have we have three studios under one roof. Uh, we have a media room. We have a recording studio, and we have a photography visual studio so just you know what I'm saying the sky's the limit if you want to uh have if you want to shoot your podcast if you want to record your mixtape if you need a party if you need a dj if you need a photographer if you need graphics we're a one-stop shop dfw grand studios so make sure you hit Get us out and check it out check it out yes sir and we have uh-huh. one of the greatest artists in the dfw that's also one of the greatest super producer dfw uh, yeah. grand studio artists that's go Make you Get a star. Go you know make you saying? sound like Go a star. Come in here, uh, so, uh, Juicy that's, IPA. That's C. Larry Juice? on CB. Yeah. Okay. C. Larry on the Come beat. on, man. Yeah. Nah, 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 you, you can come up. Come lap back nah, 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 Bring it in. Yeah. Bring yeah. it in. Oh, you know, we're going to make it. We're going to make this special. What we're going to do, we're going to, by any chance, there's another glass on that. It should be another glass somewhere in that container. We need to get you a glass. You're going to drink another beer. We're going to get you a, thank you, sir. I owe you another bag of chips. For all the hard work you're doing. Mm-hmm. This is C. Larry OTB. You know what I'm saying? That super producer I was telling y'all about. He will make you a star. Y'all right. don't let him hype me up like that. All right. I don't think you guys are going to like this. This is the reason why. Man. What's wrong with it? Nothing wrong with it. I'm going to let you drink it first. Okay. It's a little bit dark. It's good. Yeah. Come on, one of your legs and stuff. Get in here. Get in here. It's, it's, don't even worry about it's a little flat. Ooh, they look like chocolate. Yeah. It's a pecan brownie. Oh, I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls if I if I drink this. Now you gonna drink a little bit, man. We gonna drink a little bit. We gonna promote you, bro. Okay, that's a bad bad. Ooh, don't worry, I'll drink the most of it. Like and DJ Loud Man's gonna drink the most of it. You want some that? The Black Man Brew. The Black Man Brew is gonna be legit. That's the one I want. Oh, you should drink some of this. Oh, you empty? Oh shit, I skipped right over you. I forgot. <laughs> This is professional, you know. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. I just want to Only on beer talk, talk man. <laughs> Only on yeah. beer talk. Only on beer talk, man. Beer talk. Yeah. Don't forget nobody. Yeah, yeah, man. Let me go on to what we toasting. Well, well first no, of all, we're going to take a frame, take a frame of the picture. Got it. And then uh, we're going to look at this, right? When we look at the beer, we're going to look at the color. So, of course, it's really dark. <coughs> Here's the thing about it. It's uh, it has little no head, so it's gonna be real flat when you drink uh, on your tongue. Okay. It's have no carbonation to it, and it's gonna be heavy on your tongue. Ex- explain heavy, bro. You, when you drink it, you gonna understand. Drink okay. it, then I explain heavy. So okay. salute. Long with shit. Oh shit! It's like uh, it like tastes coffee? like it tastes like caffeine and uh, coffee. I kind of yeah. like this shit. This is going to shake me back. The aftertaste, I'll taste the pecan. Mm-hmm. The you got to get on the back notes. Mm-hmm. So you see how there's like a velvety uh, film on your tongue afterwards? That's what I mean by heavy. Okay, heavy. It's like I don't like that. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. That, ooh. <laughs> you know, I ain't no drinker though, bro. No, it's I'm all just good. drinking Talk. with the guys, man. No, 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 it's all good. Y'all. Don't worry. See, here's a, this is the journey of the beer, right? So we're going to go super fruity, super light. Mm-hmm. We're going to go dark. And okay. heavy, then we're gonna go refreshing and light, and then we're gonna go back to dark and this heavy. This is definitely okay. Dark the refreshing and light <laughs> sound like that's gonna be uh, more of my alley. It definitely. Refreshing. Yeah, let's try the refreshing. So, as thanks for coming. drinking the beer. So, you Boy, have a mixtape coming out. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I actually do. Uh, Long Wolf Shit, Volume 2. Uh, boom, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all get your copy, man. It's gonna be on all digital platforms. Uh, uh, we got the physical copies, things like that. It got 12 songs on it. Nice, nice. 12 songs? That's an album, basically, bro. That's not a mixtape. That's an album. How long are the songs? What, three minutes, two minutes each? That's an album. Uh, the shortest one is like a minute and 55 seconds. It's more so like an interlude. Yeah, but that's still an album, bro. Yeah, that's what that's what, that's what what I've heard. But it's... it's I, Hey, man, I'm just going with the flow. So, but, uh, what day, what's the date coming out again? November, uh, November 12th November 12th. this year. So, yes, that's, in three uh, days. that's, yeah, that's on Monday, right? Yeah, man, I can't wait because all the pressure, it's been a lot of pressure and shit like that on me, bro. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Once the yeah, 12th man. comes and everything is already released and it's on, you know, I'll be able to, 
and breathe and shit. Definitely. But, oh yeah, man, it's, it's it's definitely worth a listen. Uh, perfect. But where can they find it digitally when we listen to it? It's gonna be iTunes, uh, like SoundCloud. Yeah, SoundCloud, iTunes, that Piff, MyMixtapes dot com. Google Play, uh, yeah, Apple that, Music, the uh, yeah, Pan, not Pandora, but Spotify as well. Uh, so, spot, look, go, well, I recommend Spotify. You can Google, look, search on Spotify, find them, and listen to all the tracks. You know what, bro? Go to Google and type in C Larry LTB. And you, it, Don, you hear that? It might finish it for you. Fact. Listen <laughs> that. Google that shit. Google Play. Do Google that, that shit. shit man. Do Google it. that shit. Long with shit, too, man. 11, 12, 18. They gotta be on the lookout. So out, what's the big uh so why's the stress on you? What's the biggest hurdle for this album for you? Uh oh, um, mixtape, I'm sorry. The level of independency. Yeah. Uh not right. having well, I'm not gonna say not being able to depend on anybody because I don't like to do that anyway, but having to do everything solo. Mm -hmm. And uh if one thing don't line up with what I did yesterday and I gotta go back and do redo all day to day just to fit and you know, to get the mechanisms right on it, but uh, being independent is the most stressful part. Uh, my kids can tell, you know what I'm saying, my old lady can tell. Sometimes they can tell, but, you know, we get over it. But uh, it's, it's just fucking, str I, mean, str I mean, it's stressful. You can say, you can say what you want, man. Listen, this is, oh, yeah, this is shit, podcast. It, hey, it was heavy on the tongue, bro. It's, it's heavy, heavy on the tongue, tongue. definitely. Yeah. It's heavy on the tongue. Listen, I, I do. Shout out to my team, man. I love my fucking team. Right bro. on, man. Man, DJ Loud, man, DJ Out of boys. Your grand boys, goddamn it, mm -hmm. technician, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man, I fucking love these niggas, man. These niggas, they, they, they keep me motivated. motivated, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know. I, you know they're saying, I don't know where I'd be if I never met you. Nah, that's some true shit. You got to find people like that. Yeah, you know? and you have to, people that really care about your, your, your well-being and, mm -hmm. and, and your success because if, you know, I, I can go on and on about some bull crap people, but I, you know, I man, I just I love my team, man. I appreciate I appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they they play a major role in this. Facts. Yeah, a major role, believe it or not. But shout out to my pack. Yeah. Shout out to the pack, man. Shout out to the team. So go up. get it. Long Wolf Two on all platforms. All of. Make them. sure you go check out the video. Just. Hey, like YouTube. you said, Google his name. See Larry. You pop up right there. Yeah, see Larry OTB. No spaces. But as soon as you type that O in, I swear it's going to be the third search topic. Pow! Damn, I'll actually screenshot that right now. <laughs> you going to see what, that. What, if it's not YouTube, number... You go to YouTube right now, I can tell you for sure it's going to be. No, no, no. If you say Google, <laughs> you say you Google. You got to be on there now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to hold you to it. Don't worry, that video is going to be right above me as me and my screen search looking at it, Googling that shit. Go if ahead. If it's not number three... I need it in the top three. If it's two or one, perfect. But yep. I need it in the top three. That whole need to be top three. Top three is going to be top three. And I, I guarantee you it is. And let's Google mad at me. I got in their ass because they didn't cut the check the other day. They didn't cut the check either for me. They didn't cut the check for me. They didn't cut the check. So I had to call customer service and got on them, man. But I think they, you know, they're not holding Google got it, man. They, I got you going to pay me. Come on, Google. They need they to pay some goddamn got body. Hell, yeah. we somebody now. They finna recognize. Yeah. Facts. Hey, yeah. make sure you go check out the album. Definitely. Oh, I thought it was a mixtape, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought oh. it was a mixtape. I've been going out. I'm sorry. Rewind. <laughs> See, he's moving. Check out the yeah, mixtape. Very yeah. fast. We do have an album dropping uh, March yeah. 6th, though. See, yeah. things are already planned. March 6th. Yeah, yeah. Things album are release party? Yeah, we're going to throw it. Yeah, yeah, nine times out of ten. Yeah, this, is, we're going, this is the whole shebang. This is the album. This is the one, all exclusives. Put your whole uh, sweat and tears. Yeah, into. it's heart, sweat, Any blood. Any features on it? Oh, oh man, I got some crazy. Your boy features. DJ Loud. Man. DJ He's Loud, man, it started off. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. you back in the mix? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I got some good features on here, actually, man. Uh, shout out to my boy Twenty Three K Ton from Dalworth, man. Shout out. That's my boy. Uh, Ball Star, Lil yeah, Mighty PMB, man. Shout out to them PMB. boys. Uh, we got one more feature. We call you know what we call it we call her uh, sister sauce sister sauce yeah okay all right she gotta have strong ass voice and name like that <laughs> well strong ass verse put it like that <laughs> oh she a rapper oh yeah oh she my bad you go and it's number eleven it's number eleven on here no it's number uh ten on here it's called me and baby okay and, uh, bad. yeah it got it got very heated bad bad I'm gonna check that out we Listen. call her sister sauce sister that's, sauce? that's your copy right there bro but bad. 
So I'm a, what I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna put that uh, that song right now in the background right so we can hear it. Okay. Uh, but see what it's something. See, yeah, that's my apologize to my my uh, my progressors out there because yeah. when I heard her, that was a woman sing on there, I was like, automatic thought singing. I didn't think rapping. Yeah, yeah. So I was sexist of me. I apologize. Yeah, it's, awesome. you know, it's, a lot, it's, be it's a lot of female rappers. It is. It's a lot. And, and you know the the alleyway for female rappers is wide open right now, and they and come on. So, can you name me a real good female rapper? Like this one girl in the, in the West Coast is legit. Nikki. She can't ring. Nikki, I love Nicki Minaj. Nicki got bars. We was born on the same day. I love Nicki Minaj. I, ain't Nicki, nothing wrong with what? It. Ain't nothing wrong with Nicki. I she's December eighth. You know who go hard to me and who look good? Days low. That's who I was going to say. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's low. Got it. yeah, she got it. That's she got it. It's like the new Lauryn yeah. Hill. Girl, if you, yeah. if you yeah. watching. <laughs> Holla at him. Holla. ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Damn. ASAP. I'm talking about A. Hey, he your got, last come, nigga was come, your past nigga. Come what he's saying is, come yeah. to DFW, hit him up. He's gonna show you the world. And here at DFW, we, we got everything out here. Everything, Listen, yeah, everything. I'm born and raised in New York City. DFW has come up a lot in the last eleven years I've been here. So it's been up. It's been a lot going through here. So big up to that. So come through, holler my boy, man. GP Texas, baby. He's gonna take care of you. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> he got you. Don't worry about hey, that. I'm gonna be on beer. We don't oh, assume genders around here, all right? Yeah, but yeah, she she's bad as bad as hell. Man. Come on, Ziggy. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll I'll look her up. Ziggy, it. how's Ziggy doing, bro? He's good? Ziggy's good, man. Ziggy's good. Full time working now. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Ziggy, I didn't forget about you, bro. Yeah. Is he still doing company together at night? I mean, uh, Sunday. Comedy. He does it on the weekends. Uh, Let's go. So tomorrow Saturday. Tomorrow Saturday, so he does it on Thursday, doing the late show on Thursday. Also does it on uh, late show on Saturday. Let's go support. Yeah, he's the truth, man. Listen, uh, we need to go. He's yeah. the truth. Uh, I miss what, him. what you also need to do, <laughs> yo, I miss that doing the podcast too. I miss him all the time. Ziggy, come to DFW Grand Studios. <laughs> we got we one, 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 one stop shop, shop man. man. Come on, Ziggy, man. We got yeah, everything man. you need, bro. I'm telling you, how is it, man? Listen, he's doing good though. Listen, he works at a studio right now. Yeah. Uh, they good people over there. Uh, and he's, he's doing good things, you know what I mean? Oh, we are bash the other studio. Okay. No, we ain't bash nobody. I'm okay, just saying, okay. I'm we talking about Ziggy. Love. No, no, I'm talking about Ziggy. He's working at a studio that's doing good. But, you know, we got another job over here. It's closer. To, uh, he lives closer over here than the other studio. That's oh, why. So look at oh, that, gas. Man, get rid of that gas that, bill, that right Ziggy. He's doing an interview. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. wait. So 2019, what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of other things in 2019, but, uh, the podcast itself, right? We yeah. what we do is we interview people in the community, right. and we bring people together one beer at a time. That's our new slogan: two we, beers at a time, <laughs> eight beers at a time. So <laughs> we're bringing people together to uh, one beer at a time, hanging out, you know, showing love to everybody. Because yeah. there's so many things going on. Listen, when I moved to DFW, there was nothing going here. Yeah, you guys hated on each other. Fort Worth, Arlington, Grand yeah, Prairie, that was it, Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Nobody fucked with each other. Everybody hated each other. You guys wouldn't do shit. Yeah. In the short eleven years I've been here, yeah. it was a major change. So you where you, it, yeah. you guys, yeah. fuck with each other now, and you yeah. guys, when you said you guys started fucking with each other, big things are happening here. Good yeah. things are moving. There's a lot more companies moving here. Right on. There's a lot more music going on right over on. here. There's yeah. a lot more artists. There's you know many art uh, festivals yeah. going on all over yeah. DFW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to yeah. One it's, of a lot. it's a, it's Yo, a lot going so on. Many things man. going in positive yeah. direction. Yeah. So yeah. many comedians. There's a lot of good things. There's uh, uh, studios, small like you guys. Doing animation, yeah. music, like there's so many good things going on that people collab together. So, I love it. I want to showcase it. I'm really happy to to see the transition mm-hmm. in Texas, yeah, especially in North stop. Texas. Yeah. You know, I can't speak for Houston. Houston already had their thing. I can't now. speak for Houston. I can't speak for anybody else in Texas. But I just feel like there's a special thing going on here in yeah. DFW, and I want to showcase it. So I'm bringing yeah. people together, be at a time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's and Grand Prairie's turn. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're here. And we yeah. got to keep coming here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you, know, you guys are the truth. Hey, man, to that one. I received that one. Did y'all feel that? Gave me chills. Beer talk. Beer talk, baby. I <laughs> dropped my eyes out. talking on an influence. Mm. Yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, bro, I appreciate you for coming out and, 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 um, that's some of the reasons. And really why. coming to the city, yeah. you know, and, uh, that's the reason why we built this. You know what I'm saying? It's everybody. Uh, DFW is coming up on hell of an entertainment atmosphere. I see in the last eleven years, you know yeah. what I'm saying, since I've been out of high school or since I was you know what I'm saying, from from the dance mecca to we at 
right now, you know, it just keeps going. So progress. Oh, I didn't even talk about the dancing either. Oh, yo, yeah. there's so many dance studios going popping over here. There's so right. many dance competitions going on. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things, man. A lot of there's things. There's a lot man. of things, man. There's so many good things going on in Texas right now. Mm-hmm. I, I just stayed in New York, you know what I'm saying, in Virginia and other places, but it's nothing like Texas. No place like home. Texas, you got a you got a whole state. You know, it feel like it's a, a country, you know what I'm saying? Definitely is, definitely is. Listen, yeah. when I take 12 hours to drive to El Paso, yeah. when take I take 12 hours to drive to El Paso, it's another country, bro. It's yeah. three beers <laughs> right here made from Texas right here. Yeah. Three Definitely. Three, three, three out of four. Three different brands uh, doing their big thing. So, big pro- so everybody's doing big things, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a, a big boom in uh, food culture. Yeah. There's a big boom in uh, beer culture. Right. Yeah. Which is the All show. All distilleries, and, yeah. The show's based Probably on enough, sharing yeah. beers with people, but it's really just with the people who are making good beers. Yeah. But it's in this artist, right? Come on. You can't sleep on the artist. Now, when I say about artists, not just uh, musically. You know, yeah. the, I, I slept on the dancers earlier. Dance. But that, you know, the, you know, the dance community out here is popping. Are you talking about the strippers or the regular dancers? Nah, I'm not, uh, I don't think strippers count, bro. Just, hey. Strippers do count. Listen, shout out to all You know strippers. what? It is art. Yeah, it sure. is art. This strip club? When's the last time? Yeah, no, sorry. Y'all want to go tonight? No, we can't. I want to go. Yeah, turned uh, Dallas Bird Talk up. The know. kid. Just the new wave, 2019. Hanging out with your people, hanging out in the community is the, is what it needs to be done. What I was trying to say with all that being said in this long ass segue oh, yeah, about strip, the, yeah. strip clubs, it's my fault though. It's my fault. Bro. Uh, yeah, okay, I it's like just, them too. It's, I, do love, I do love it though. Man, I um, love it, bro. Is that we got to hang out as a community, and I want to showcase that as as organic as possible. Right. And then drinking with my friends and show, showcasing local beers is the best way possible. Okay. You know. Yeah. Toast, man. I'm already, man. I'm already gone. I'm on yeah. like third, my third cup. So what we're gonna do Ooh. right now? We're gonna drink. Uh, just the refreshment. Flat, just the refresh. Uh, uh, you can drink that if you want to. Yeah. We're gonna drink that. Uh, we got beer everywhere. We're gonna drink. Yeah, we got beer everywhere. But I want, what I was doing with this because I don't have water. <laughs> Is clean up your glasses, right? Because mm-hmm. the beer was heavy. We don't want to. We don't want to take away from the refreshing beer. Okay. So Barrett Tillman is the guy who makes Black Bear Brew. Uh, also, podcast coming soon. Hanging out with Barrett Tillman. Okay. Uh, phenomenal guy. I, from what I hear, I can't wait to actually sit down and talk with him. But when I met yeah. him, just randomly met him in the streets, and I we had a conversation. He's like, "Bet here's this. Here's a gift. Give me this beer, baby. and it was a gift." So. Super excited to try it. I haven't tried it myself. Right. Okay. I haven't either. I can't wait to try the refreshing refreshment beverage. Which one are we trying this? The Black Man Brew. Black Man Brew. Hey, Black Man Brew. I like the name already. I like the logo, oh, man, you too. Just, you just want to switch it over like that? I like that logo, <laughs> too, yeah, man. It so, Peel, uh, Peel Pressure is the name of it. Uh, this is a pint at nine ounces. So, I don't know if that's a 40. It's an actual black man on the bottle. You, know what Dude, you just noticed that? Yeah, it's man. It's an actual it black man right here. Yeah, man. Yeah. I can dig it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I want to taste that. I do. I want to taste <laughs> that. 100%. So Barry told me when the short time I did get the chance to talk to him, we had a conversation about uh, inclusion in race, right? So right. I'm Latin. I'm Puerto Rican, Dominican. Obviously, he's black and you guys are black. So we had a conversation on like, how can we grow or influence mm-hmm. in media and overall inclusion in it, right? Right. He said we need the opportunity to grow because that's where the money's at. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting him off. And what he said, ethically, no, wow. Oh. I'm, I'm fucking up. I'm slurring. You need to drink it? No, he said something uh, profound and beautiful when he spoke, right? And he had a, <laughs> okay, you clean up real nice, bro. I just had to yeah, he clean you. up. You yeah. clean up real nice, bro. And he was, uh, and he had a lot to say, and he actually changed my position on it because he was so profound in what he said. What I was saying is, we need to just be separate and let us be our own thing, like Black Wall Street back in the days, right. like Spanish Harlem, right. Harlem in mm-hmm. general back in the days. You know, we just need to be let us be our right. thing. They'll come to us regardless, yeah. right, yeah. for the money. Yeah. So, uh, but he he had a, and I don't want to take from him because he had a really nice way of saying it. I'm, of course, I'm fucking up right now. But he's really, really smart, and I'm super excited to talk to him. And he's super, and forgive me if I'm putting words in my mouth, super pro-black. And super, <laughs> super pro-black. And there's nothing super wrong with that. That's black. absolutely beautiful, and uh, we need more people like that. Yeah, it's time to wake right. up. Some black people need to wake up. This is be pro-us, man. Like, listen, 
we all come from the same neighborhood. We all struggle with the same right. same things, and we all fall short the same ways. So why are we coming at each other's necks for? You know what I mean? Understood. So, so I'm super excited to talk to him. So Barry Tillman, Black Man Brew, super Black excited. Now I see like the little golden color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I first noticed. The same color as his hair. Yeah. 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 Is, that, is that what that is? That's what that is. Okay, I'll feel Yeah, it stands out. Let's see what this tastes like. You know what? I could probably drink this. And that's different. It this is different. Is different. This is this is yeah. pretty sour, good. It's sour. Very refreshing. It is refreshing. That's why we gotta mix it in the middle. Now okay. is this the uh <clears throat> citrus? Yeah, citrus? so it's uh is citrus. So I like that one. Peel pressure lemon Peel pressure. citrus. It's a is it a saison? Excuse me, it's not a sour. It's a saison. When you first drink it, it's kind of like mm. it punches you. But when you go down, you're like, hey, yeah. It's refreshing. Yeah. So yeah. what it does? So what I mean by and what my my uh, analogy of heavy on the tongue is not the the professional way of saying it, but it, it has, these are lingering tastes, right? Yeah. What this is refreshing, light on the tongue. Whereas when you drink it. There's a lot of flavor that hits you up front, which mm, is nothing, yeah. it's not too bad, but when it ends, it ends with more flavor, yeah. and it makes you want to drink more. It's more yeah, refreshing. Yeah, yeah. It's drink. like punch. Yeah. yeah. Keep yeah. going. Keep going for that. Yeah. That's, that's it. Hey, that shit, man, uh, hey I need a bottle of this one. <laughs> so, Black Man Brewery? Hey. So, uh, yes, follow, follow Barrett Tillman, Black Man Brew on Instagram. Also, you could if you want to buy this, uh, like I don't know if you can buy this one particularly, but... Small brew pub in uh, uh, Bishop Arts. I'm pretty sure you can buy buy his beer there. Okay. So you can find his beer in a lot of places, but uh, yeah, this is good, man. He makes a lot of good stuff, man. So yeah, big up, support the homie. Uh, like I said, I can't wait to interview him. The interview's coming up, so it's super exciting. Uh, yeah. But good to see good beer here. Now, this is my first time drinking too, and it's just, yeah, this is yeah, this, yeah. You my taste buds are satisfied right now because this is yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Say it today from that last one. Oh. <laughs> you so, said he's on Instagram, right? Yeah, he's on Instagram. Black Man Brew on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, this, uh, I'm not sure if he's on Facebook. I know we follow him on Instagram. I'm gonna give him a First, follow right quick. Yeah, go follow. Give him a follow, man. Like I said, he does a lot of big things. Okay. Uh, big support to the homie, man. And like I say he's really, really smart. So Good, satisfying taste, though. Man, that uh, it's not too citrusy, so it's not too uh, bitter yeah. or, or like tart, I should say. Yeah. But it's good, man. Looking forward to coming back to the glass every time. Yeah, man. There's still more in there, too, to drink. Still more in there to drink, man. I can't believe how good this is. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Saison, man. That's really good. Bubble, the bubble, I don't know. Right. It's bubbly. It's good. Make you feel good, man. Can't believe that. Make you feel good. Yeah. You know what's surprising to me? I can't wait to try his other stuff because what we're going to do with what we're going to do with Barry. Is we're gonna have like a, a semi food tasting with his beers because he his stuff is paired with and I'm scared I'm speaking now that term speaking for him is like he wants to pair, make it like wine right mm-hmm. where beers are more complicated where you want to showcase it right and it's good with food yeah and, he, and I think that's what we're gonna do if we don't do it that's fine but he has a beer he has a he has a map of how you should drink his beer and it's exciting. It's a map, and I can't wait to try it. all his other stuff. <laughs> Are you having a hard time there, sir? Oh, yeah. 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 We just gonna sit hey, man. Yeah. We just gonna sit that was some good beer, right? It, was it really was. That's what it is. It, 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 it is. Black man yeah. brew, man. Let's, how many percent hey. is this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Please, <laughs> please. Give me the percentages. Black man brew, uh, <laughs> this is uh, 6.3% beer. And I'm not a drinker, so. That's a lot for beer. That's a lot for beer. And then this one over here. <laughs> this one, oh, so we skipped over Turning Point, which is out in Euless. It's not too far from oh, here. Oh, okay, Euless. Turning Point. Was that U-Town? Uh, useless Town. Use- oh. <laughs> turning Point. That was a school at one point. Well, I went to Turning Point before. Yeah, so I think they stole that name from that school because. Yeah, it was an alternative school. Yeah, was so this was a, so stuff. this is what you're feeling. This is a 10% beer. Okay, that's the black, that's the brown one, right? That's the, the pecan brownie. Coffee. The coffee yeah. kind of thing. Okay. I was heavy, man. I was drunk. I was uh, get you drunk kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it said on your tongue, like you said. It said it get you kind of drunk. 
Is it set on your tongue or is set on your tongue? <laughs> he said sat. He said sat. Sure. Don't, don't play loud like that. He said sat. Black man, bro, got you. I'm finna follow him, man. Yeah, man, dude, man. Like I said, Barry Tillman do a lot of good things, man. I want everybody to support that, man. I want that man to do big things, man. Right on. Like I said, I can't, like, again, podcast comes soon. But don't forget about this one. This is going on. We still are here uh, hanging out with the, the best uh, production you, studio in Texas. What you call it? Drinking? Oh, man, I received that. Drunk, I received drunk, it drunk in public. public. Drunk in public. It's a drunk in public, brother. It's drunk. Yeah, man. For real. Hey, you know yeah, what? Last time we left y'all on the show, talk. bro, he was out of there, man. Hey. <laughs> I'm talking about, hey. <laughs> Is it, uh, you talking about that? No, I ain't telling anybody. I'm telling bro this. Nigga. We live, man. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not. Come I know on, the ropes. I'm nah, sure. nah, we can edit this out. But here's the nah, thing. Nah, but man, it'd be some good punching alcohol. Y'all have some good punching alcohol, bro. And and yeah, I feel great. That's the point. Here's the thing. I do not want anybody to be a fool of themselves. Right. Right. What I want to do is so the concept of every show. Like when we come in here, right. The first 20, 30 minutes is all about you guys. We're going right. to hang out. The last 10, 15 minutes of the show, when I edit it down and stuff like that, it's just hanging, man. Yeah. We're going to say some things. We're going to be funny, but I want you guys to feel, I want everybody to feel comfortable. I want everybody to hang out and drink. Because right. we're going to drink like this and talk like this when we're hanging on our own anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah. So I want to showcase everybody drunk. who they are. No, not just drunk. <laughs> no, who I'm they drunk are. In public. I'm with you, right? Drunk in public. Exactly. Yeah. Drunk in public, man. We're going to do this live and in person, hanging out. Because... When it comes to business, not everybody is super excited to talk about business, right? right? Yeah. Everybody, some because you be you, up could, you could be up up here smart and business right. smart, but you might be dry to the people, and not not everybody likes that. Yeah. But you come hanging out with your people, you show who you are. So I want to do the business part and hanging out with my friends and showcasing the world who we are. Hmm. Listen, I'm not from Texas. I'm never going to claim Texas, but there's a lot of great things going on here that I want to support. There's a lot of great things here I want to showcase. You guys included, man. Like, there's a lot of great things, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. real talk, man. There's so many good things going yeah, on. Yeah, that ain't nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? You you be able, you able to come here, work here, and not be from Texas, but still support it on a different level. You, you got to. You got to. You see the love? Yeah. Listen, when you got someone like uh, MVP Vodka, we always come, we always talk about MVP Vodka, right. so shout out to them. Shout, shout out to MVP. MVP. You know, another black-owned company. Right You on. know, big ups to them. And then uh, they're doing big things in the vodka industry, right? Yeah. They're growing, they're growing fast, too, man. Yes, they're looking yeah, good. They're all over the place. They're looking Every good. Every time I talk to TJ, he's on a, a plane somewhere looking uh, good. out of town. So, but, promoting. But promoting. Where they have MVP Vodka, right? They have so many other liquor companies here in Texas. Why? Like you said earlier, Texas is a small fucking country. You can do so many different things up in here. Mm-hmm. You know? It's a fucking beautiful thing. And not to, not to hang out with these people is a fucking crime. Not these yeah. people to... Show who they are is a fucking yeah, crime. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. anybody want to come to this podcast, whatever you do, wine, liquor, whatever, we got come you. Come on, come hang on. out, man. We're going to showcase at you. Mm-hmm. Hey, hang out. Show love, man. I love it. There's a wine vineyard in fucking North Texas. Yeah. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. A yeah. wine vineyard? Are you stupid? Like, yeah. that's ridiculous. Have you ever been? I've been. That's okay. how I know about those people. I, I do want to hang out with you, bro. You seem like you be on a pretty decent level. I try to. Throughout your life. <laughs> well, listen. I, at this point in my life, definitely, man. Definitely. I'm 30 years old, man. Like At this yeah. point in my life, I'm just chill. And there's so many things that are people that are doing great things. Why not show love? In my 20s, I wasn't like that. In my yeah. early 20s, 20, definitely. Listen, I was just a drunk Learn the curve. Definitely, yeah. man. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. man. But there's so many so many phenomenal yeah. people. You hang around like-minded people. Oh, you, you get like-minded result. results. Yeah. Man, it's beautiful. It's lovely. You hang around five millionaires, what? You're going to become the six. Okay, mm-hmm. then. Yeah. Yeah. You That's real talk with that. That's this wisdom right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. Before we For go sure. on to the next beer, as we still drinking, everybody, let's think about yourself ten years ago. Ten years ago. Think about yourself ten years ago. Ooh. What's the biggest difference between you now versus ten years ago? I'm getting paid. Facts. I'm more focused. But, but like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean paid now versus now? Are you doing as the in, same thing now? Uh, I was doing the same thing. Uh huh. Uh, not as fluent. Mm-hmm. But now it's uh, like I say, shout out to the team again. It's easier to keep track of what's actually going on, you know. Uh, treating it, bro. I always tell me you treat it like a hobby, you get hobby results. You treat it like a business, you get business results. You treat it like a corporation, well, you get corporation, corporation results. Facts. Who said that? You said that? Hey. Facts. Yeah. Wise well, man once Facts. told me that. Hey man, hey man, I took heed to that and ran with it, and you know, now when I say I'm getting paid, I actually. 
see my money. I can actually do for my kid. My sons need a haircut or something. I can do that now. I could do that four or five years ago mm. in the midst of that 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, that's what I, mean, what I mean when I say I'm getting paid. I can I can handle my responsibilities the way that I need to handle my responsibilities. So That's important, man. It's important, man. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. What about you, brother? You say you more focused now? What's the difference you need? Yeah, I'm more focused. I feel man. like meeting you, you always been focused. So what's the difference 10 years I ago? I've always been focused. I mean, just like he said, back in the day, I mean, 10 years ago, that was when I, I had my first kid. But I, it was, I wasn't ready. So, you know, I was just out there just doing whatever still. Mm. I had my parents to fall back on, but, you know, I still wasn't focused. Now, I'm, through all that 10 years, I done did what I done did, and I done learned from that. And you got to, I, definitely. Yeah, it was a struggle. And, you know, it took that struggle to get there, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'm here where I'm at, and I use that with what I got now and what I can still get more from in the future. I just focus. I'm more focused on still going towards the future, bro. Still in that grind. Uh, yeah. Like positivity, man. That's all it is. Positivity. Lean in a little bit more. Can't dwell on, on. Oh, I need to lay. Oh, no, man. lean in a little bit more. So you, we I was gonna say, I don't you, think you, you want me to lean. No, no, be a little more smooth. Lean in so oh, we get you in the camera. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just you know, just keeping a positive mind frame and and uh and just trying to void out the negativity. You know, right. in in the learning process is like you say you you know you messed up. You did what you did. And, Everybody does, yeah, man. Yeah, and, and if you continue to dwell in the mess, then guess what? You're gonna continue to be a mess. But if you take that. If you take the lessons from that mess and not just not dwell in it, but excel in it. Did I say that right? Excel, you know, you good. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying. And apply what you learned from that last mess up. Like bro, doing when he say he more focused, I kind of get that. You know what I'm saying. It's, it's easier when you mess up. It's easier to correct yourself. Facts. Right. Yeah. Especially when you're around like-minded people, people that's gonna get in your Focus. butt. Yeah. Focus people. Focus right. people. They gonna get in. You know, if you ain't doing something right, it's gonna be known. You know mm. what I'm saying? So definitely. And if that's in your face all the time, guess what? I'm me. I'm like, nah, I don't feel like hearing that. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. Stay focused. So yeah, I feel you, bro. Come on it. That's all good. What about you? Oh, it's on me. Oh, what we doing here, man? So we we'll taking the work. Okay, I'm more. Don't make a word. This is what you what, what do you think you definitely. Ten years ago, I'm more determined. You know, uh, when I say that, I mean like I always think of crazy ideas and never put them to work. You know what I'm saying? When I actually put it to work, I see a positive side of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Thanks. when I when I say determined, I mean I'm more pushing myself to to push my positive. My positive message or my positive uh, way of thinking or my positive uh, uh, <laughs> Nah, you good, man. You oh, know what's up? I'm drinking in public. Right? Black, black, <laughs> black man, bro. This is drunk in public. Black man, bro. But what I'm trying to say is, is I'm pushing myself harder. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting better results. So when I push my heart, so I'm more determined. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm coming at a different angle and I'm getting better results. You know what I'm saying? So... That's all I need to do. Determined, I like it. Yeah. Oh, don't let us be sitting in here doing yeah. nothing on one of his feeling determined days. Yeah. Oh, we all gonna be determined then. Yeah. Right, the facts. Just, but see, that's that's you need that kind of stuff in your account. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. 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 You need to push, man. So uh, yeah, it's all is all it is a big push. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk about it all day. But if I don't push myself, I'm never gonna use it. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I gotta say about it. That's definitely facts, man. That's some beautiful thing, man. Listen. Everybody who just listens to listen to that, listen. At Ten years from now, from when if you listen to this, you're gonna be a different person. Right on. You're gonna think different slightly, right on. and you're gonna be slightly uh, differently motivated. And there's nothing wrong with that. You all, we all grow. Yeah. It within ourselves, right? We yeah. have to grow from the lessons in life and the family we grow around us. Uh, the family grow around you guys is the team you guys have now, and the fan also with. Ex the yep. kids as well. You all have kids. Yeah. You know, so. We're kind of like just growing each other as a family. You exactly. Know what I mean? Push each other, you know what I'm saying? So. Our goal is to take care of the kids. Facts, That's it. man. Facts. Yeah, whether it's my kids, his something. kids, mm -hmm. me doing what I do can help him do what he got to do for his kids as well. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa, vice versa, vice yeah. versa. So. Facts. You got to be over kids. here trying to build us some tears and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shout man. out to Tiny Technician, man. He behind the camera. Tiny, over there. listen, that's the man that was yelling behind his like, you got a cramp Google in his this, leg. Google <laughs> this, do that. Tiny, I'm sorry. Let's I owe you another bag of chips yeah. and some beers. So you, 
You didn't try black man brew, right? The craziest. No, I'm going to use my double cup. Ever. I didn't know which one I was supposed to use. Could be the craziest brew talk there ever was. No, this is going to be the livest. The livest. Right now. I am saw stuff. This is this <laughs> yeah. you drunk in public, bro. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? The little tart, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of tart. Well, not it's not a lot of tart because I don't drink beer. I don't like beer. Like, you don't like beer? Yeah, I just, just don't sit right. But I can say that you can drink it. I would be able to drink that a little better than the rest of the tolerate. So, yeah. Fair enough. Here's the deal. I uh. I didn't like beer either before the show. There's so many variants of beer mm-hmm. that's delicious. Like, when do you drink at all? I drink MVP. You drink MVP? Do you mix it? No, I don't like to Straight mix. up? Yes. Yeah, do the berry straight up? On ice? Delicious, sweet, right? Yeah. Not, no homo pause on that. Uh, <laughs> facts. Let's listen. I gotta let people know. Listen. There's no trickery on that. But yeah. at the end of the day, there's beers out there. Yeah. That's super berry flavor, flavored or just sweet in general. Yeah. Like this first one we had was super sweet, right. right? But there's other ones that's more sweet than that. That has a lot of juice flavor that has alcohol in there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. So you could try it. This, is a lot, this beer goes in a lot of different spectrums, and it's delicious, and which I slept on before I did this show. I slept on it. Listen, I was a rum and coke kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's understandable. So, yeah. and it grows, man. Beers grow. There's a lot of flavor with it. But what you do is, is when you take your time, finish that, and then on the, well, we want we're going to the tail end of this podcast, right? Because we've been doing this for a minute now. Mm-hmm. But I want what I want to end on, right? Is what are our goals for 2019, right? Just because it's the end of 2018, right? Yes. Yeah, you, you guys been doing it big for 2018. You guys did it yeah, big. Yeah. But what's the goal for 2019 and further, 2019, I think we got a major goal. We just want to open up to everybody, get everybody we can to work with us, and we want to work with them on on some promotion, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and <laughs> What are you laughing at? I'm laughing, man. I'm, uh, I'm drinking in public, man. Man, drunk in public. <laughs> in public. This, is, this is what you get to realize that everybody. But anyways, I just want to bring everybody together, have everybody work with each other, Facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and get money the way we know how to. You know what I'm saying? We can open up our own businesses. We can be our own leaders in our community. We can be our own talk show hosts. We can be our own DJs, our club club owners, our own photographers. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And, and get the check. And have them cut the check the same way if you was working 9 to 5 with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I love entrepreneurs. You know, mm-hmm. entrepreneurs. And that's what we are. Facts. So, so 2019, do bigger and better. Listen, 2019... I like how he said bringing people together because that's our same goal here. Like, our, like I said, we we're uh, talking on the influence, but also uh, bringing the people together one beer at a time. Let's we're gonna bring together. We're gonna shine a light on yeah. all of us, man. We're gonna shine yeah. a light and hang out and mm-hmm. showcase us as a as a community, as a people. Will be through liquor or not, but we're gonna hang out together and show it together. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know we're gonna do it together. And I like that. I'm, that fucking jacket's fire as shit. Uh-oh. I like that. Oh yeah. That's My cousin did that for me. Your cousin did that yeah, shit. It's it fire. Together. He does um, stitching and embroidery um, and all that stuff. <coughs> Shout out to your cousin. He has a, does just, he do it for business? Yeah. What's his business? It is. Um, okay. Don't, uh, uh, don't drop that. Shout out to your cousin. Yeah. It is on here somewhere. Oh. In that pocket. In that pocket. Okay. It is Hood Fit. Hood Fit. Hood Fit. Instagram. Facebook. Yeah. Uh, website Instagram Facebook um, I don't know if he got a website just yet but he does pretty good work like I designed it myself I drew it up and everything because I, I I love to have it my way so mm. I did it uh, drew it up and he went by every design that I had and put, put it together. together got my name got I mean everything that I needed and I put on there no, it's a, legit, it's a legit and jacket. It stays together. Like this jacket, I've Fresh. had for over a year and a half now, and it's still nice. No, that's legit. So, for people who don't know, we you uh, you've been working behind the scenes for us for a lot for this whole podcast, basically taking care of us too. But Tiny, what's your Instagram? What do you do? What's going on? Um, well, my Instagram <coughs> is the Visual Technician. Facts. That's nice. Um, which is <coughs> the, what's the little thing that go under underscore. the underscore? Yeah, the underscore thing. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I'm still getting used to that stuff, but um, it's, time, uh, it's D underscore visual underscore technician. Nice. So, I mean, it's a little little typing involved, but we're going to put that yeah, right here on the ground I mean, right now. Oh, yeah, I hate typing this name. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm a, I'm a very <laughs> yeah. um, difficult person sometimes. So, I mean, I'm a Scorpio. That's true. So I heard y'all talking about the Sagittarius. Uh, earlier. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all we, after me, I can dig that. Sad season yeah, coming up, baby. Right no, sad season, it is yeah. right now. It's coming yeah. up in, in a few weeks. But when this podcast air, it'll be Sagittarius season. Don't worry about it. Uh, on the 16th, I am trying to put Scorpio Bash together. Scorpio Badge? Bash. Bash, nice. For all the Scorpios out there, where, where Scorpios, are you? Scorpios... It's gonna. I mean, it's really kind of mix up with the Sagittarius a little bit too, because you got right. kind of like in between a little bit. You know in between, we're right, we're right there. We're right there. Like right but there at the uh, end, on so. the sixteen, but where? Like, what's the goal for the badge? Is it a party, block it's, party? It's. I mean, I don't know. Just acting a fool. Just getting together. Just getting together and showing Drinking that we. I mean, Scorpio Scorpio, shit, Scorpio, Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio shit. Yeah. Like crazy. Just Scorpio. Just, <laughs> yeah, just Scorpio shit. You know what I'm saying? No, no colors Hashtag. involved. It's just. Just right out Scorpio shit. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, I mean, I know I love myself, so I love other Scorpios. And, you know, if we all get together, everybody gonna love us. The know? building gonna burn down. Oh, no, we ain't gonna burn it down. We gonna, we gonna have a little couple of drinks, but, you know, a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of MVP. You know what I'm okay. Saying? Facts. A lot Yo, of MVP. Shout out to MVP Vodka. You know, they, you know, Delicious vodka, the yep. straight up regular MVP, the black label. I would call it myself. Uh, delicious, smooth, one of the smoothest vodka out there. Uh, only thing I could really, people who ever tried Reykjavik vodka, is equally as smooth as that. Uh, in my opinion, it's delicious. Uh, but the berry vodka is where it's at. That red label. This is a stout, so it's not super it's carbonated. Right so, see, they check out their artwork. They got like a buffalo. Here. Yeah, this is from Houston, Buffalo Bayou. They make a lot of beers out there. They mainly make porters and stouts. Now, I could be lying. They make many more other beers, but more I've tried for them is porters and stouts. Uh, I've tried their pecan porter before. I've tried a lot of their big boy beers. And I uh, actually met their sales rep in Austin one time, hanging out with it. And I called them out because I wasn't a big fan of some of their beers. Not not because it's not good. Their beers are good, but what I what I what I don't like about beers or any drink is when you say you're gonna have pineapples or lemon in it. Yeah, right. I want a motherfucking taste yeah, pineapples yeah, or lemon. Exactly. Like, right. Whatever you describe it, I want to taste that yeah. shit. And some of the beers weren't like that. Okay. Some of the beers yeah. weren't like that. Okay. <coughs> says, a lot uh, of sense right there. Cinnamon yeah. chocolate caffeine. Definitely. So when you try it, you're gonna you're gonna feel cinnamon in the back yeah. end when you drink this. What you're gonna do is feel the, the the heaviness on your tongue when you drink it. You're going to feel the coffee-ness or the dark chocolate kind of flavors when you first uh, taste it. Okay. It's going to fit off real warm and hot. That's the cinnamon. Yeah. And what I noticed about this bottle, uh, see the buffalo on the artwork, he has like a wax cap. Yeah, yeah. So, That's different from beers, you know. Beers so, yeah, so some of the big boy beers and the big boy products, they put wax caps on it. Um, mostly just for uh, a look, right. aesthetic pleasing. Uh, uh, sometimes it's for things with live like bacteria still growing in, so you want to keep that locked in. But most of the time, like this for Buffalo Bayou and their big boy beer, so this uh, pints that they have, they usually just for aesthetics. It's not okay. nothing to keep it sealed or anything like that. It's just for aesthetics, make it look good. Okay. So on that note, we're gonna end this podcast in a beautiful way. We still not done yet, but we're gonna end this with this beautiful beer. Salud. I definitely taste chocolate. Yeah. Caffeine. It ain't too bad. It's still a little beer. cinnamon at the end. Yeah, it's you got the hot flavor. Yeah. Like, yeah. normally I would have been like, but. It ain't bad. It's it, it sits a little better than. It sits, yeah. It's not. It's darker. It's not as heavy on your tongue as the other beer, the pecan. Yeah, the pecan yeah, porter. It's yeah. not as heavy. No, it's not as uh, syrupy as that was. But it still hits on your tongue pretty hard. But there's a hot flavor to it, which that's the cinnamon. Yeah. Now you have that flavor sitting right back in. Yeah. I like this. It's good. It's yeah. good beer. I like this. You're a fan. Yeah, it's so that's good. the warm stuff you said is coming down. Your this is a good woods beer. Like we were hanging out here and it was cold in the studio. Yeah. Pop this open. Everybody gonna warm the fuck up. Yeah. You pop. 
<laughs> Get out of here. Hey, nah, I hear hey, you over there, though. Hey, you, right. hey, you need to stop. That's, I ain't never tasted no chocolate beer. Either. No, this is the first. Sorry. So, on that note, on some uh, long, drunk and public journey, man, we're going to do this thing. I love you guys. We're going to end this up. Check my peoples out. Uh, we're going to be here. We're going to do more. Uh, December, we're going to do uh, uh, promotion. Yeah, promotion. Pro- Sanitary's bash. Sanitary's bash. Sagittarius bash. But he was saying Sagittarius bash. But now what I'm saying is. You can't bite off my stuff. I can lend it to you though. When this podcast airs, we're going to have the Scorpio bashes and it Also, uh, we have the monthly. Uh, monthly networking party on DFW Grand Studios. If you want to get in contact with us, go to Facebook. Go to all social medias, DFW Grand Studio. You can even go to DJ Loud Man, or you can go to DJ Off the Skill, or Tiny uh, Visual Technician, the Visual Technician. You can go to him. Uh, there's and, two and, underscores in there. Forget yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just ask about the networking party. Make sure you bring your information. Make sure you bring your business cards, your flyers. Yes. and We offer to get it in. We are. We are yes. Yeah. We are definitely networking, mm-hmm. not it's, network. it's, a, it's a get together, but we're networking. Like yeah. it don't matter Plenty what of you drinks. do. If you do Plenty of food. Um, hair, you do. I mean, whatever you do, bring it here so you we can it. we can actually work together, and maybe this yeah. person can help you, and right. you can help this person. Right. Mm-hmm. And calling all artists, we do have a record studio. One is. of the hottest <laughs> engineers in town right now. So if you, if you got raps and you want to book a session, make sure you hit us up. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Facts. I don't know. My man, my man is dying on the sidelines. My man is dying. Also, Lone Wolf is gonna be on all major platforms, so check yeah. that out. Cop that everywhere you find. Lone, Lone Wolf. Wolf. Uh, we're gonna do uh, Spotify, iTunes, anywhere. Uh, YouTube, Google, Google. What we're gonna do is go Google. Make sure he's. Make sure he's number three on the search. If he's not number three, don't, don't, don't I'm going to like I'm 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 clown him real quick if he's not number yeah. three on the uh, Google search. But, yo, all, all right. love out there. This was a phenomenal podcast. Yeah. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for listening, as well as uh, you guys coming on, man. You guys are the fucking truth. You guys are the best. Peace. You also don't drink and drive. Take a lift, brothers. Always to the lift. We drunk in public, though. <laughs> Facts. Always to the lift. <laughs>